thank you to Ravit for your support on Patreon. Continuing on, let us do the thing. Walking home under the sun's rays, matching the hair's step as we walk side by side, I feel a confusing mix of emotions. I feel bad for making Keisuke walk me home and miss out on training, but I also feel happy to have him right next to me again. I feel relief to not have Alexander anywhere nearby, and also feel guilty for thinking that. I'm happy that Keisuke chose to forgive me, but a certain part of me doesn't think he should have. In fact, if any friend of mine came to me and told me about this exact situation, I'd have been very insistent that the person in question not be forgiven. So now that I'm standing in the seat of the guilty party, it feels really strange. I'm happy to be forgiven, but it's a complicated emotion. Sorry. Hmm? What for? Just... in general. In that case, you're welcome, in general. <laughs> Thank you. You're pretty gracious sometimes. He said sorry, you don't say you're welcome to sorry. <laughs> sometimes, I like to think that I'm gracious most of the time. You certainly don't gloat half as much as some people I know, that's for sure. It wouldn't be a good look. But you don't need to thank me. He didn't. He said he apologized. <laughs> I don't? Not really. I think we're past that point. Past the point of saying thank you? I'm just gonna drop it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at our relationship. You're my boyfriend, and before that, you were one of my closest friends. It's normal for us to do things for each other. You don't have to thank me for each and every single thing. You still thank me, though. Quite often, actually. I know. I'm just being mindful of other people's point of view. Just because I believe in one thing doesn't mean others will agree with me. If I, if I didn't say thank you, most people would call me rude. Hmm. Interesting point of view, I guess. I never really thought of something like that. I've always been raised to say please and thank you. The idea of not saying it makes me feel itchy. <laughs> but I guess I can imagine how others might disagree. If you're constantly hanging out with someone and doing things for someone else, I guess you'd end up saying those words a lot. Still, I understand, but I think I'll pass. It would make me pretty uncomfortable to not say it. That's quite all right. Like I said, you don't need to, and I'm not stopping you. Sorry, you don't have to keep saying it if you don't want to. I don't want to be a bother or anything. For the love of God, are you guys actually going <laughs> to... I mean, I get this is what a lot of conversations are in the early days, certainly, but like, oh my God, <laughs> you actually say something... Don't be silly, Benjamin. Keisuke leans closer to me until her shoulders end up touching. I don't even react when I feel his soft fingers brushing against the back of my arm. Pull my hand out of my pocket. My hair immediately begins tracking the back of my hand with the tips of his fingers. Keisuke's hand, despite his years of practice and overall fitness, is still quite soft and comfortable. Tips of his fingers, slightly calloused from his guitar practice, play with mine playfully and gently pulling on each of my fingers. Finally, he touches his palm to mine, interlocking our fingers together and squeezing my hand. You sure about this? We might get seen. It's not like there are a lot of people around. Not that I would care if we there were. I don't really care about someone seeing me. He's getting me so sweet sometimes. My chest feels warm and fuzzy as I squeeze back. I don't know if it's from the happiness of not having lost him or from my being too tired to care, but I think that being seen walking around like this is more than worth it if it allows me to hold hands with Keisuke on my way home. <laughs> Holding hands on the way home. Such a cliched thing to think about. Why did I turn into this kind of like sappy guy? So weird. Of course, we are walking into your neighborhood, so I'd understand if you'd rather not risk it. You're asking me to, that. You're asking me that after grabbing my hand. 
I couldn't resist. It just felt natural. I'm okay with this. It's pretty nice to hold. It's surprisingly soft. Yours is the one that's surprising. You're way more muscular than I am, yet your hand and fur are softer than mine. It's a curse. I've been called girly a few times because of it. People must be thinking of a very butch girl if that's the case. I'm talking about my face, not the rest of me. I know that. I'm merely teasing. It's true that your face is quite delicate, but I like it. You're very pretty. Jeez, say that stuff like that out of nowhere. It's embarrassing. Baka. I'm not apologizing for speaking the truth, but I'll keep that in mind. Maybe. Possibly. Not likely. Just say no like a normal person. Sheesh. Normal? What about me and my life is normal? You know what? That's a fair point. Yeah. Case case about as abnormal as can be. It's still weird to think about how I, how I not only know but am actually dating an uber rich person. I'm not the one that's rich, and I won't be keeping my status for long if I have any say in the matter. I already wish to leave the family even before the most recent events. Yeah, sorry for bringing that up. It's all right. You're not the one I'm angry at, and ignoring my problems will do me no good. I'll just count my blessings that they've stayed quiet these past few days. At least I got to spend... At least I got to enjoy spending time with you. Maybe they know that if they pressure you too much, you'll end up running away, even if you don't have the financial means to support yourself. It is something I've considered. Wait, really? Yes. I've tried asking Alex for his assessment on how I'd handle living alone and working part-time while studying. What did he say? He laughed. Ouch! Sounds a bit harsh. Let's be honest, I barely know how to behave when walking into a store by myself. How would I deal with being forced to work? I don't even know how to handle money properly. That's also true. You have absolutely no sense of value when it comes to money. I can imagine him going into one of his usual stores and blowing his entire month's wage in a single sitting. It's downright scary to think about. Still, I'd like to think that I'm getting better. Actually, maybe you could teach me how to do household chores while I'm staying with you. <laughs> We're rehabilitation time. The sad part is, is that growing up uber, uber rich and uber poor without these kinds of things can result in the same lack of uh, uh, I guess utility, uh, knowing how to do household things. Like, <laughs> oh man, like I barely had a floor in the house I grew up in. I didn't. I, I the first time I ever worked a mop was at like a job I think, and it wasn't because I was above it. It was because I never had a fucking floor to mop. <laughs> You want me to teach you how to do chores. Of course, what's the harm in that? Surely it couldn't be that hard. Oh, you... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You couldn't figure out how to work the washing machine two nights ago. I'm not exactly hopeful. Still, that'd be pretty mean to say out loud. Keisuke is my boyfriend, so the least I can do is show him the ropes. Not like I knew how to do everything on my own when I was younger, either. In fact, I basically went through a trial by fire once Dad died and Mom started working full-time again. Sure. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. After I sleep, though. Of course. I'd imagine you'd pass out right away once we arrived. I probably will, yeah. Sorry to leave you alone in the house. That's quite alright. I'll do my homework, study a little, and otherwise entertain myself with my phone. You can use my computer, too. Told you it doesn't have a password. Right, of course. So long as I have permission. Of course you do. Not like you need my permission each and every time you want to use it. Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, they're in the bedroom. After a little while longer of walking whilst chatting about nothing in particular, we finally get to my house. I'm almost desperate when I climb the stairs, wanting to get to my room as soon as possible. 
The moment I lay my eyes on my bed, my greatest desire is to throw myself on top of it and pass out. Which is exactly what I do. You might want to at least get changed before you go to sleep. You shouldn't wear your uniform for too long. Are you even listening? I am. It's just... The bed is such a strong gravitational pull. When did the bed turn into a planet? My small fluffy planet. Your brains turned to mush, huh? While lying on my side of the bed, I leisurely watch Keisuke neatly putting his bags away, opening one of them to grab a change of clothes. Even when he begins to get changed, I don't look away. Maybe I'm too tired to get embarrassed, or maybe I've gotten used to it. Someone's watching me pretty intently. I didn't know I was supposed to look away. You are getting changed in my room, after all. I think I can look if I want to. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Feel free to look if you so desire. You look pretty good. This is coming from the guy whose brain overheated from seeing me shirtless just a week ago. Yeah, well, I guess I'm growing up. I suppose that's one way to put it. Now, come on. Get up out of that bed and at least ch get changed before you sleep. You're gonna wrinkle your uniform. Oh, you're comfortable here. Seriously, Benjamin, it won't take you five minutes. Just take your uniform off, get changed, and put the folded clothes away. You're not folding your clothes. Oh, oh, right. What's with the shock? I'm too used to having them folded for me. I was going to leave them as they were and forget it. Yep, I have no hopes for you when it comes to learning how to do chores after all. Okay, fine. You don't need to nag so much. I get up from the bed and dressing myself as quickly as I can while, from the corner of my eye, watching Keisuke fold up his tennis clothes, followed by pulling his uniform out of his bag and folding it up as well. There. Much better. Great. Now it's just time for me to need to... F nope, bed flap! Are you a child? I didn't sound soft. Fine, sleep in your undies. I'm not going to complain about the eye candy. Great, because I'm not getting up again. Sleep well, Benjamin. Keisuke walks up to my bed, grabbing the clothes I haphazardly threw on the floor and beginning to fold them as well. The last thing I remember before falling asleep is the sight of him putting them away in my closet and grabbing his own change of clothes. Ah, the next day, the next day, the next day in the hideaway. Ah, 